Hey everybody, it's Brett here with the Tuning School. I'm here with Bob. This is the grand finale of our fuel series. We're gonna be talking about which injection makes the most horsepower with which fuel. So stay tuned. All right, so what we really wanted to do mm -hmm. was wrap up this entire thing with the best of the best. Yep. So we chose the best ethanol fuel that we had, yep. which was C85. C85. And we the chose the best non-ethanol fuel we had, right. which was C16. Yep. And we chose the best, in best injection we had, right? Right. Which was methanol. Yep. So best of the best. So what we basically did is we ran methanol and uh, C85, mm -hmm. and we ran methanol and C16, yep. just to see what we could squeak the most power Absolutely. out of. Because I know there's guys that They're are watching, they want every single little ounce. But what if you ounce. injected too? Yes, what if you every did? single little ounce of yeah. everything that they could get. They're right. crazy. They're probably going to run nitrous on top of yeah, this stuff. Yeah, three and just, power outers later. Exactly, yeah. and yeah. turbos and whatever. Right, yeah. So, we did these tests. We were super surprised by what we found. Yeah. And at the same time, it also kind of ends an internet debate in a way. Yeah. So, but let's go ahead and get into the numbers. So, the first one we're going to talk about is C16 plus meth. Yep. So C16 plus meth made 605 horsepower right. and 540 foot-pounds. Correct. Now, when you're looking at that compared to just C16, it didn't really make any more horsepower. One horsepower. Right. But torque but. was a huge different, like, different story completely. Yeah, right. It picked up a lot. We're from 528 to 540. Yeah, so we picked up 12 foot-pounds mm -hmm. in torque yeah, by the using the meth. Yeah, yeah, just from the meth. Absolutely. So that was a, a gain in a sense, but there right. isn't really any more horsepower there. Right. You and me were honestly kind of surprised by that. Sure. I really thought that that extra oxygenation from the meth would help. Yep. It didn't, but that's okay. That's why we we're doing the test. Yep. All right. So then we have VP C85 yep. plus meth. Yep. And we made 634 horsepower yep. and 556 foot pounds of torque. Yep. Now it kind of did the opposite yep. that the C16 did, and it yep. gained no torque. No torque. But gained five horsepower. Yep. So the overall winner. Of it's the like horsepower battle, it's a bridge. Is here. the two yes, right? It's so the it's, two. it's the it's the methanol and the C eighty five. Yes, which That's is ironically what everybody debates. I right, mean, which one to use? Do I what use, camp are you in? Which one? Which one do I use? Ethanol or methanol? Yeah, both. Both. If you really want to make the most horsepower, run them both. The answer is both. The I mean, it both. really is, which is really really cool and exciting to see. Yeah. Um, Especially if you're in a hot climate, you know, Florida. Oh heck yeah. Somewhere like that because. You know, you will see good gains if you just run the E85 stuff, but it doesn't help with the cold air, you know, uh, cooling the air charge, yep. where the meth would really help even more. Uh, so, you know, it's funny because I've always been more of the meth injection guy, and we have other guys here that are more of the E85, and so we always have these little battles internally about what's better, but the reality is the best choice is to run both. Yeah, it really honestly is. And the other cool thing, too, is, is given the numbers that we have here, we're 60 horsepower. Yes. Over 93. Over 93 octane. So uh, there is a, a decent amount of cost involved mm -hmm. with, you know, setting up for ethanol and setting up a, a meth kit. Sure. And then obviously you've got to tune all of that. But if you sure. want to go the distance. If you want some power. You can, you can do it in There's power in your fuels. There's definitely power in your fuels. Yep. And I would pick your favorite poison here and have your car tuned for it. Get a, get a good tune just for that. Yep. And therefore when you run it, you're, man, you're, you're reaching all your potential. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and the thing is, is there's we found out a lot. We learned a lot from this series because 93 wasn't bad, but when you poured in an additive like Boostane, you got a really great return, 598, just mm -hmm. for just for the inexpensive cost of yeah. the octane enhancement. And then your race fuels were much higher cost, but then they also carried greater gains. Yeah. And then you look even further and you go, okay, well, what's it going to be? Do we need to pick one or the other? And yeah. it is a combination that wins. Absolutely, it really is. And, and that pretty much wraps up our fuel series in a sense for now we might see some stuff in the future there's been talk of us getting some other fuels in here and doing some more testing mm -hmm. but for the moment we don't have any more fuels to test right so you guys at home watch all of the videos yep. decide what's best for you and your application and when you do decide let us know why you chose that mm -hmm. and that pretty much sums up everything the we crazy got going here. fuel the series. crazy fuel series yeah so for more high performance tuning knowledge make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on social media as always, stay tuned.